Welcome to Torcron. If you're a traveler and love nature, then you're at the right place. Please subscribe to us and press the bell icon. In this video, we will discuss some of the hottest places on Earth, where the climates range from intense tropical heat to arid desert landscapes. In this exploration, we delve into the unique environments of cities and regions known for their extreme temperatures. Before starting the video, we would like to hear from you. Comment below about your experiences of the hottest places you've visited. Whether it's a bustling city under the blazing sun or an arid desert adventure, your stories add a personal touch to our exploration. These are our picks for the top hottest places to visit in the world. Dalal. Ethiopia's Danakil Depression, Dalal, commands attention, not just for its extreme heat, but for its otherworldly landscape. This is where the Earth seems to showcase its raw, untamed power. Dalal holds the record for the highest average annual temperature ever recorded in an inhabited location, with temperatures frequently soaring above 100 degrees Fahrenheit, and the hottest day, a scorching 116.1 degrees. But Dalal's allure isn't sorely in its heat. It's in the vibrant, almost alien terrain that unfolds before your eyes. Here the ground is a tapestry of colors, thanks to the hot sulfur springs, iron-rich salt formations, and acidic pools. It's a kaleidoscope of yellows, reds, and greens, creating a landscape that looks more like a painting than a real place. This is nature's chemistry lab, open for all to see. Nestled in this harsh environment are the resilient Afar people, whose culture and way of life have adapted to the extreme conditions. They navigate this challenging terrain with a grace that speaks of centuries of coexistence with the land. Their presence adds a human element to the surreal Dalal landscape. Economically, Dalal plays a crucial role in the region's salt mining industry. The vast salt plains here are not just visually stunning. They're a vital source of income for the local communities. The process of extracting salt from this unforgiving terrain is a testament to human endurance and ingenuity. Dalal, with its extreme temperatures and extraordinary landscape, is more than just a destination. It's a journey into one of the most unique and challenging environments on Earth. It's a place that defies the norms of our natural world, inviting the brave and the curious to witness its surreal beauty. Athens. A city steeped in history now faces a modern challenge, soaring temperatures. This ancient metropolis, once the cradle of civilization, now grapples with the realities of climate change and urban heat. The city's Mediterranean climate, characterized by hot, dry summers, has been intensifying. Athens has experienced some of its hottest days in recent years, with temperatures peaking at a blistering 44.6 degrees Celsius. These aren't just numbers on a thermometer, they're a stark reminder of the changing climate's impact on urban life. Historically, Athens has weathered numerous heat waves, each leaving its mark on the city and its people. These extreme weather events are more than discomfort. They strain resources, test infrastructure, and impact public health. The city, known for its ancient ruins and bustling streets, transforms under the weight of the heat. A significant contributor to Athens' rising temperatures is the urban heat island effect. The city's dense architecture and concrete buildings and limited green spaces traps heat, exacerbating the already sweltering conditions. It's a man-made amplification of nature's furnace. In response, Athens is adapting. The city is exploring innovative ways to combat the heat. From green roofing projects to the expansion of urban green spaces, efforts are underway to provide respite from the relentless sun. These initiatives aren't just about comfort, they're about reshaping the city's relationship with its climate. Athens' struggle with heat is a reflection of a broader global challenge. It's a city balancing its rich historical legacy with the need to adapt to an increasingly hot and unpredictable future. Kuwait City A modern oasis in the desert confronts some of the most extreme temperatures on the planet. This bustling metropolis, a blend of contemporary architecture and traditional culture, 
faces the relentless heat of the desert. In Kuwait City, the mercury soars. With temperatures reaching a scorching 52.2 degrees Celsius, recorded in 2016. The city is no stranger to searing heat, with summer months often witnessing relentless sun and minimal respite. The heat isn't just a seasonal visitor, it's a constant companion, shaping the very fabric of life. The city's rapid urban development has contributed to its heat challenges. As Kuwait City has grown with its skyscrapers and sprawling infrastructure, so has the intensity of the heat. The urban landscape, dominated by concrete and glass, absorbs and radiates the heat, turning the city into a cauldron during the hottest months. To combat the heat, Kuwait City has become heavily reliant on air conditioning, and this isn't a luxury. It's a necessity. The city's energy consumption spikes as cooling systems work overtime to provide relief from that oppressive heat. It's a battle against nature, fought with technology and innovation. The extreme heat has a profound impact on health and society. Locals have adapted their lifestyles to cope with these conditions. Outdoor activities are often limited to cooler periods, and the city takes on a nocturnal rhythm as people seek to avoid the midday sun. The heat shapes social norms, work schedules, and even architecture, with buildings designed to offer shade and reduce heat absorption. Lut Desert Step into the Lut Desert in Iran, a land where the sun reigns supreme. This vast expanse of sand and rock holds the record for the highest ground temperature ever recorded on Earth, a staggering 70.7 .7 degrees Celsius as captured by NASA's satellites. The Lut Desert, also known as Dasht i Lut, stretches over 51,000 square kilometers, presenting a landscape that's both mesmerizing and formidable. It's a canvas of towering sand dunes, some reaching up to 300 meters, and a mosaic of rock formations sculpted by the relentless force of wind and heat. This desert is more than just a sea of sand, it's a gallery of natural art. The Yardangs, large ridges formed by wind erosion, create patterns that are a testament to nature's sculpting prowess. The desert's vast salt flats, where the ground is crusted with salt, add to the surreal beauty of this harsh environment. In this extreme setting, life finds a way. Flora and fauna in the Lut Desert have adapted to survive the scorching temperatures and scarce water. Plants are sparse, but those that do grow here are hardy and able to withstand the intense heat and aridity. Animals, too, have evolved to thrive in these conditions, with species like the Asiatic cheetah and the Persian leopard calling this unforgiving landscape home. The Lut Desert is not just a natural wonder, it's a scientific gold mine. Researchers study this extreme environment to understand desertification and the impacts of climate change. The desert's conditions offer insights into how ecosystems adapt to extreme heat and aridity. Historically, the Lut Desert was a crossroads for ancient trade routes, with caravans braving its daunting terrain. Local legends speak of the desert's mysteries and dangers, adding a layer of cultural significance to this natural marvel. In the Lut Desert, every grain of sand tells a story of survival, adaptation, and the relentless power of nature. Flaming Mountains In China's Xinjiang region, the Flaming Mountains offer a striking view with their red sandstone hills. These mountains, known for their appearance in the classic novel Journey to the West, are more than just a natural wonder. They're a part of Chinese cultural heritage. The formation of these mountains is a story of natural processes over time. The red sandstone, shaped over centuries, creates a unique landscape that seems to glow under the sun. This effect is especially pronounced in summer, when temperatures can soar incredibly high, with ground temperatures recorded at over 70 degrees Celsius. The Flaming Mountains are not just about extreme heat, they're also a hub of mythology and history. Their role in Journey to the West adds a layer of cultural significance, making them a symbol of Chinese folklore and tradition. This aspect draws visitors who are interested in both natural wonders and cultural history. Tourism here is diverse. 
Attractions like the Beza Click Thousand Buddha Caves offer a glimpse into historical Buddhist art, while the Grape Valley provides a refreshing contrast with its greenery. These sites offer visitors a chance to see different facets of the region's beauty. Conservation is key in this area. Efforts to protect the unique geological and cultural aspects of the Flaming Mountains are important for preserving this site for future generations. The combination of natural beauty, extreme temperatures, and cultural significance makes the Flaming Mountains a unique and valuable part of China's landscape. Delhi India's sprawling capital is no stranger to scorching temperatures, especially in recent years. This city, steeped in history and buzzing with modern life, faces the brunt of intense heat waves, a challenge that becomes increasingly common. The climate in Delhi has been a noticeable shift. Summers are getting hotter, with temperatures often soaring above 40 degrees Celsius. The city recorded its highest temperature in recent years, reaching a staggering 48 degrees Celsius. This rise in temperature isn't just a number, it's a reality that millions of residents face every year. Delhi's rapid urbanization plays a significant role in its heat intensity. The urban heat island effect, where built up areas are significantly warmer than their rural surroundings is evident here. Concrete and asphalt absorb and re-radiate the sun's heat more than natural landscapes, leading to higher temperatures. This effect is compounded by the city's dense population and bustling activity. The impact of this heat on public health is profound. Heat waves in Delhi are more than just uncomfortable. They pose serious health risks, especially to the elderly, children, and those with pre-existing health conditions. Hospitals often see a spike in heat-related illnesses during these periods. Efforts to mitigate these effects are underway. The government and local organizations are working to improve the city's green cover, promote sustainable urban planning, and raise awareness about the dangers of extreme heat. These measures are crucial for making Delhi a more livable city in the face of rising temperatures. Dubai, a city synonymous with luxury, skyscrapers, and opulence, also grapples with the reality of its desert climate. This bustling metropolis set against the backdrop of the Arabian Desert experiences some of the most extreme temperatures on the planet. The climate here is unrelentingly hot and arid. Summer months in Dubai can see temperatures soaring above 40 degrees Celsius, with the mercury occasionally hitting the 50 degree mark. The city recorded its highest temperature in recent history at a scorching 52.1 degrees Celsius, a figure that underscores the intensity of the heat this region faces. In response to these extreme conditions, Dubai's architecture has evolved to become a marvel of heat management. The city's skyline is dotted with buildings that are not just architectural wonders, but also feats of engineering designed to withstand and adapt to intense heat. Innovative cooling systems, reflective glass facades, and smart building designs are commonplace, showcasing Dubai's commitment to making the unbearable bearable. Energy consumption and sustainability are key concerns in such a climate, and Dubai has been proactive in implementing cooling technologies that are efficient and environmentally friendly. The city is also exploring renewable energy sources to reduce its carbon footprint, a critical step in a region heavily reliant on air conditioning. The lifestyle in Dubai has adapted to accommodate the heat. Locals and expats alike have adjusted their daily routines, often limiting outdoor activities to cooler parts of the day. The city's infrastructure, from air-conditioned shopping malls to cooled public transport, enables residents and visitors to navigate the heat with relative ease. Tourism in Dubai doesn't pause for the heat. Visitors flock to this city year-round, drawn by its luxury shopping, stunning beaches, and indoor attractions like the world-famous Dubai Mall and the indoor ski slope at Ski Dubai. These attractions offer a respite from the heat, allowing tourists to enjoy Dubai's offerings without the discomfort of that scorching sun. Jeddah The climate of Jeddah is marked by its scorching heat, particularly during the summer months. The city has recorded temperatures soaring up to 52 degrees Celsius, a stark indicator of its extreme weather conditions. This heat is compounded by high humidity, adding to the overall intensity of the environment. Throughout history, Jeddah has flourished as a center of trade and culture, with its inhabitants ingeniously adapting to the relentless heat. 
The city's traditional architecture featuring wind towers and shaded areas showcases the resourcefulness of earlier generations in creating comfortable living environments amidst the harsh climate. Today, Jeddah confronts new challenges as it continues to expand. The rapid urbanization has intensified the urban heat island effect, leading to higher temperatures within the city. This growth, while indicative of development, poses additional challenges in managing the extreme heat. The social and cultural fabric of Jeddah is woven around coping with these temperatures. Residents often schedule their daily activities to avoid midday heat, with many social and commercial activities occurring during cooler evenings. The lively night markets and active nocturnal lifestyle are testaments to this adaptation. In response to these climatic challenges, the Saudi government has implemented various initiatives to enhance living conditions and lessen the heat's impact. These measures include creating green spaces, employing advanced cooling technologies, and adopting urban planning methods to reduce heat absorption in buildings and public areas. The Sonoran Desert this vast desert sprawling across parts of the United States and Mexico is a realm of extreme temperatures and remarkable adaptations. The Sonoran Desert is characterized by its blistering heat, with summer temperatures often exceeding 48 degrees Celsius. This extreme heat is a defining feature of the desert's climate, which also includes surprisingly varied seasonal patterns. Winter months can bring cooler temperatures, while the summer sun scorches the arid land. Amidst this furnace-like environment, life flourishes in astonishing ways. The flora and fauna of the Sonoran Desert have evolved unique adaptations to survive. Iconic saguaro cacti stand tall, storing water to endure the dry spells, while creatures like the Gila monster and kangaroo rat have developed ingenious methods to thrive in the heat. The desert holds deep significance for the indigenous cultures of the region. Native American communities such as the Tohono O'odham and the Seri have a profound connection with this land, shaped by centuries of living in harmony with its challenging conditions. Their knowledge and traditions offer valuable insights into the desert's ecology. Conservation efforts are crucial in the Sonoran Desert where biodiversity is both rich and fragile. Researchers and environmentalists work tirelessly to protect this unique ecosystem, studying its intricacies and advocating for sustainable practices to preserve its natural beauty. For those seeking adventures and awe, the Sonoran Desert offers a plethora of recreational activities, from hiking and bird watching to stargazing under the clear desert sky. The landscape invites exploration and contemplation. Its vast open spaces and rugged terrain provide a stark contrast to urban life, offering a glimpse into the raw power and beauty of nature. Mexicali. Nestled in the northern part of Baja, California, Mexico, Mexicali is a city where the sun reigns supreme, casting its intense heat over the streets and homes of its inhabitants. Mexicali's climate is characterized by long, sweltering summers, with temperatures often soaring above 40 degrees Celsius. The city has experienced some of the most extreme heat events in the region, challenging both its people and infrastructure. Despite the oppressive heat, Mexicali's winters can be surprisingly mild, offering a brief respite from the relentless warmth of the other seasons. The economic impact of such extreme temperatures is significant, particularly in sectors like agriculture and industry, which are vital to Mexicali's economy. Crops and livestock face the brunt of the heat, necessitating innovative farming techniques and heat-resistant varieties. Industries, too, must adapt their operations to ensure efficiency and worker safety in the face of rising temperatures. In terms of health and community, Mexicali's residents have developed various coping strategies to deal with the heat. Public health initiatives focus on preventing heat-related illnesses, especially among vulnerable populations. 
The city's healthcare system plays a crucial role in educating the public about staying hydrated and avoiding the midday sun. Culturally, Mexicali's residents have woven the reality of their hot environment into their daily lives. Local customs and traditions often reflect the need to adapt to and respect the heat. From siestas during the hottest part of the day to vibrant evening social gatherings, the city's culture pulsates with a rhythm dictated by the sun. Bangkok The capital city of Thailand is one of the hottest cities on Earth, known for its extreme temperatures. Due to its tropical location, Bangkok's climate is defined by humidity levels, intense heat waves, elevated and distinct monsoon seasons. Because of the tropical savanna climate, the city sees high temperatures year-round, frequently reaching above 30 degrees Celsius. November to April typically marks the dry season, when the intense heat is most evident. Bangkok streets emanate heat during this year's season, and the atmosphere is saturated with moisture rendering the environment difficult for those unfamiliar with these conditions. With occasional highs of more than 40 degrees Celsius, April is typically the hottest month of the year and may be very uncomfortable for visitors and locals. Bangkok citizens have embraced a way of life that includes markets outside, street food sellers, and a vibrant nightlife despite the extreme heat public transportation, malls, and air-conditioned temples offer much-needed relief from the heat. The city's river, Chow Phraya, is another excellent spot. Boat trips provide a fantastic break from the urban heat island effect. Bangkok's standing as one of the hottest cities is not only a result of the weather. Instead, it's an essential part of the city's character impacting everyday activities, customs, and the ability of its citizens to withstand the perpetual heat. The Amazon Rainforest The Amazon Rainforest is a hot, broad-leaved, tropical rainforest in the Amazon Basin of South America, which covers nine countries. Brazil holds 60% of the global forest cover, and within the Amazon lies the world's largest and most ecologically diverse tropical rainforest. It comprises over half of the planet's surviving rainforest. Tropical places with hot, muggy weather are common in the Amazon jungle. The Amazon basin enjoys year-round high temperatures and lots of rainfall. The region's proximity to the equator results in nearly uniform day length and solar radiation, contributing to the warmth of the Amazon. The typical range of daytime temperature is 25 to 35 degrees Celsius, which makes the atmosphere hot and muggy. It's not just about the temperature. The Amazon rainforest is known for its high humidity levels, which makes the air thick and sticky. These humidity levels can be intense for a person. The Amazon River meanders through the jungle, pumping moisture into the atmosphere, and the thick undergrowth contributes to the increased humidity. The Amazon sees heightened heat during the wet season because of high temperatures and considerable rainfall. The precipitation nourishes the lush vegetation, contributing to the rainforest's incredible biodiversity. Conversely, the dry season, spanning from July to November, sees reduced rainfall but maintains elevated temperatures. Although barren regions are more commonly associated with intense heat, the Amazon rainforest is distinguished by its continuously warm and humid environment. The Amazon is an essential part of the climatic system on Earth, since it changes its temperature and humidity as well as the region's ecological significance, plays a major role in regulating the planet's overall temperature. Karachi Karachi is a thriving city on Pakistan's southern coast, located by the Arabian Sea. It has an arid climate with summer temperatures that frequently reach over 40 degrees Celsius or 104 degrees Fahrenheit. The city's location near the Tropic of Cancer contributes to its intense heat, with a predominant influence of the hot desert winds from the nearby Thar Desert. 
From April to August, the summer season is marked by relentless sunshine and minimal rainfall. This period brings dry and dusty conditions, creating a challenging environment for residents. The humidity here is particularly intense, especially during the summer months. Stepping outside feels like entering a sauna. The air is thick with moisture and within moments, the heat prompts a profusion of sweat, saturating your clothes in this demanding and intensely humid environment. The sea breeze from the Arabian Sea provides some relief, especially along the coastline but the overall climate remains hot and arid. Karachi's urban heat island effect is pronounced due to extensive concrete structures, limited green spaces, and a burgeoning population. To cope with the extreme temperatures, Karachi has developed a resilient infrastructure, including air-conditioned buildings, widespread use of cooling systems, and a culture that embraces evening strolls along the seafront to capture the cooler breezes. The city's vibrant street life endures despite a challenging climate, showcasing the resilience of its people in the face of relentless heat. Riyadh Saudi Arabia's capital is among the hottest spots on Earth, experiencing harsh summers with daytime highs regularly reaching over 40 degrees Celsius. The summer months of June through September are the city's extreme heat most visible. The sun shines constantly throughout this time and the air is dry. Due to its distance from significant bodies of water, Riyadh experiences limited natural cooling sources and an arid climate. The surrounding desert landscapes, including the vast Rub al Khali or empty quarter, add to the intensity of the heat as the sun's rays heat the barren sands. Riyadh's modernized infrastructure allows residents to seek refuge from the outdoor heat. Traditional souks or markets and historic sites still beckon, though often with an adjustment to the schedule to avoid the peak of the day's heat. Despite the challenging climate, Riyadh has embraced modernity with futuristic architecture, expansive shopping centers, and a thriving business hub. The city's inhabitants have adapted to the heat, making evening gatherings, late night activities, and indoor entertainment popular choices to navigate the challenges posed by being in one of the hottest regions globally. Doha. The capital city of Qatar is an example of how modernism blends with the continuous embrace of one of the world's warmest climates. Doha, located near the Persian Gulf on the northeastern coast of the Arabian Peninsula, amidst the enormous Arabian, is one of the hottest towns on Earth. The city experiences hot summers that can reach temperatures beyond 40 degrees Celsius from May to September. This severe weather requires residents to be resourceful and resilient. The cityscape narrates a tale of rapid development and architectural brilliance in challenging weather conditions. The skyline of Doha, adorned with modern marvels like the iconic Aspire Tower and the ultra-modern Hamad International Airport, reflects not only the city's ambition, but also its ability to thrive amid extreme temperatures. As symbols of innovation, these structures serve as beacons of progress in a city that has learned to navigate the delicate balance between tradition and modernity. Doha's extreme heat is not just a climatic characteristic, but an integral part of its identity, shaping the lifestyle and adaptability of its residents. The city has embraced cutting-edge technologies, installing extensive air conditioning systems in public spaces, creating oases of comfort amidst the desert heat. This commitment to technological solutions demonstrates a forward-thinking approach, ensuring that life in Doha continues with vitality and energy. And despite the harsh weather, Doha has grown as a global center for business, culture, and sports. The city's capacity to host significant events like the esteemed FIFA World Cup demonstrates its quick ascent to prominence in the global arena and its resolve to surmount environmental challenges. Even the FIFA World Cup was delayed from hotter months to cooler months because of high temperatures. 
A cool respite from the heat of the city is offered by the lovely Corniche, a waterfront promenade with stunning views of the Gulf. Meanwhile, the historic Souk Waqif, a traditional market, comes alive in the cooler evenings, offering a glimpse into the city's rich cultural heritage. This balance between the ultramodern and the conventional is a hallmark of Doha's character, revealing a city that cherishes its roots while reaching for the future. Doha's identity is deeply entwined with the fabric of its harsh environment, influencing not just the city's physical terrain, but also the spirit of its citizens. In the midst of the desert, this vibrant city celebrates its distinct fusion of history and development, welcomes innovation, and perseveres in the face of hardship. Jay Salmer. Jay Salmer, the Golden City, is a captivating oasis in Rajasthan, India's northwest region, in the middle of the Thar Desert. Known for its dry weather, Jay Salmer is among the hottest spots in the nation. The city is situated within an immense desert, where the sun beats down relentlessly turning the surrounding terrain into a sea of golden dunes. This results in the city's severe temperatures. Summer in Jay Salmer, typically from March to June, brings scorching heat, with daytime temperatures frequently surpassing 40 degrees Celsius. The absence of significant water bodies exacerbates the aridity, creating an environment where the air is dry and the land appears to shimmer in the intense sunlight. Despite the challenging climate, Jay Salmer boasts a rich cultural heritage reflected in its architecture, particularly the iconic Jay Salmer Fort. The fort's yellow sandstone walls blend seamlessly with the desert surroundings, earning it its nickname Sonar Quilla or the Golden Fort. To combat the heat, Jay Salmer residents have constructed Havelis, which is traditional mansions with intricate architectural designs that optimize natural ventilation and provide respite from the intense sun. The city's vibrant markets, where local artisans showcase their crafts, comes alive in those cooler evenings, creating a lively atmosphere amid the challenging desert conditions. Jay Selmer's landscape is dotted with camel caravans, and its yearly desert festival celebrates the region's vibrant culture. The desert's stark beauty and the city's cultural richness make Jay Salmer a unique destination despite its reputation as one of India's hottest places. The Sahara Desert Stretching over North America in a vast arid land regarded as the largest hot desert worldwide, the Sahara covers an area of approximately 9.2 million square kilometers, which comprises parts of Algeria, Chad, Egypt, Western Sahara, Sudan, Libya, Mali, Mauritania, Morocco, Niger, and Tunisia. Rocky plateaus and isolated mountain ranges dominate the Sahara's topography. Despite its association with endless sand, only about 20% of the Sahara consists of dunes, mostly rocky hamada and gravel plains. The Sahara experiences extreme temperatures with daytime highs often exceeding 40 degrees Celsius, while nighttime temperatures can drop significantly. Low and variable precipitation characterizes the desert's climate. Years can pass without rain in some parts of the Sahara. Communities that are semi-nomadic or nomadic, like the Tuareg and Berber people, have historically adapted to the harsh environment by depending on their in-depth familiarity with the desert to survive. Known as the ship of the desert, the camel has been an essential means of transportation and food for these communities. Despite its hostile appearance, the Sahara is home to critical resources and distinctive ecosystems. The tenacity and ingenuity of people who have lived in this harsh environment for millennia are demonstrated by oasis cities and historic trade routes like Timbuktu. Notwithstanding its challenging environment, the Sahara is a subject of attraction and study due to its alluring beauty, cultural diversity, and geological wonders. 
Phoenix, the capital and largest city of Arizona in the USA, located in the middle of the Sonoran Desert, is a vast metropolis that has quickly become one of the most populated cities in the nation. It's well known for its constant sunshine and dry environment. Summers in the city are hot and muggy, with daily highs frequently reaching 40 degrees Celsius. The desert terrain is peppered with recognizable saguaro cacti, which offer an attractive background to the city. Phoenix has embraced modern architecture and creative urban planning despite the intense heat resulting in a skyline that melds perfectly with the surrounding desert. Phoenix is a center of cultural diversity with a wide range of outdoor activities, fine dining and artistic expression available. The city's varied neighborhoods, including Scottsdale's Luxury and Roosevelt's Rose Historic Districts, add to its vibrant cultural environment. Outdoor enthusiasts can explore the scenic trails of Camelback Mountain or enjoy water activities on the Salt River. The tourist, healthcare, and technology sectors are the city's primary sources of economic growth. The town has continued flourishing due to the regular stream of new people drawn by its affordable housing and strong job market. While the summer heat poses a challenge, Phoenix has adapted with air-conditioned spaces including shopping malls, resorts, and a network of swimming pools. An old canal system left by the area's former inhabitants, the Ho-Ho-Cam people, demonstrates the historical endurance of populations in this dry terrain. Phoenix represents both the benefits and the challenges brought about by the arid geography of the American Southwest. Abu Dhabi the capital city of the United Arab Emirates, or UAE, is known for its tall modern buildings and fusion of traditional and international Emirati culture. The desert climate that the city experiences is marked by intense heat waves, particularly in the summer. Daytime highs often exceed 40 degrees Celsius, and the cool sea breeze from the Gulf mitigates the arid conditions. The city's air-conditioned infrastructure, which includes hotels, commercial centers, and public transit, demonstrates its dedication to providing relief from the heat. Famous sites in Abu Dhabi include the contemporary Etihad Towers that dominate the skyline and the Sheikh Zayed Grand Mosque, a magnificent example of Islamic architecture. A well-liked location for leisure and outdoor sports, the Corniche is a charming promenade along the coastline that provides breathtaking views of the Gulf. Institutions such as the world-class Louvre Abu Dhabi, which features a varied collection of international treasures, testify to the city's dedication to culture. Traditional markets like the bustling Mina Zayed Fish Souk or Souks glimpse the city's rich heritage. The oil industry drives Abu Dhabi's economic prosperity, but the city has diversified its economy with tourism, finance, and renewable energy investments. The Yas Island Entertainment Complex, featuring attractions like Ferrari World and Yas Marina Circuit, contributes to the city's appeal as a global destination. In conclusion, Abu Dhabi is a captivating fusion of tradition and modernity where the desert climate is met with cutting-edge technology, cultural richness, and a commitment to sustainable growth in the heart of the Arabian Peninsula. Death Valley lies in eastern California and is one of the Earth's hottest and driest locations and part of the Great Mojave Desert. This vast and barren environment is characterized by extreme temperatures, unique geological formations, and beauty that appeal to adventurers and scientists. The valley's name accurately describes its harsh environment as summer temperatures frequently exceed 50 degrees Celsius. The valley's below sea level elevation surrounding mountain ranges that trap heat and create an extreme microclimate and vast flat area all contribute to those high temperatures. Despite its inhospitality, Death Valley boasts breathtaking scenery, including the colorful and otherworldly Bad Water Basin, 
The lowest point in North America at 282 feet, 86 meters below sea level. The Devil's Golf Course with its vast expanse of salt flats, spiky salt formations, and the mesmerizing artist palette of vibrant mineral deposits adds to the valley's unique allure. Death Valley is renowned not only for its intense heat, but also for its uncommon and resilient desert plants and animals. While vegetation like creosote bush has adapted to the arid climate, animals like the bighorn sheep manage the challenging terrain. Death Valley has grown in popularity as a destination for travelers looking for exceptional natural beauty and the excitement of visiting one of the hottest spots on Earth despite its harsh environment. Nature lovers and explorers are drawn to Death Valley by its wide salt flats, tall sand dunes, and rough mountain ranges, which all contribute to its attractive landscape. Death Valley is a striking example of the wonders that nature can create in the most hostile environments despite its extremes, from the scorching heat of the Badwater Basin to the beauty of Zabriskie Point. So are you ready to experience these hottest places? Or if you've already visited one of these places, then do let us know your experience in the comments section below. Don't forget to like and subscribe and we'll see you in the next one.